continuing our generation's eye on the issue this campaign season, today we're talking Social Security. The two dates we keep hearing are 2017, when the trustees report that the annual cost of Social Security will exceed the tax income, and 2040, when the trust fund is expected to be exhausted. Republican Senator John McCain supports partial privatization or personal savings accounts. Democratic Senator Hillary Clinton strongly opposes privatization and says fiscal responsibility has to be addressed first. Senator Barack Obama also opposes privatization and supports raising the Social Security payroll tax cap, which is currently at $97,500. Here to debate the issues, Michael Tanner of the Cato Institute and Sandy Wise of the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare. And of course, we want to hear from you and your concerns about Social Security. The number to call us at 1-866-735-RLTV, 1-866-735-7588. Um, where to begin? Let's, let's start with this whole insolvency question. My understanding is we've got about three people paying into Social Security for everybody taking out now. In your view, is there any candidate that can address the long-term solvency crunch that the baby boomer generation puts on this program? Let's start, let's start with you, Michael. Well, I think both Senator McCain and Senator Obama have at least acknowledged the problem and talked in very broad and general ways about solutions. Senator McCain wants to do something to control the growth of benefits and combine that with personal accounts. Senator Obama has talked about raising the cap on Social Security payroll taxes. Senator Clinton has largely ducked this issue. She has uh, called for a bipartisan commission, something we've had uh, about a dozen of uh, over the years, and said that what we really need is more fiscal responsibility, which would be a great thing after the last eight years, but would do absolutely nothing in terms of Social Security. Well, well then, Sandy, let me put that to you. What, what is your definition of fiscal responsibility when it comes to preserving right. well, Social Security? Let, let's talk about the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare, of course, uh, was very involved in uh, commenting on President Bush's plan. Senator McCain has said that his plan is exactly the plan of President Bush, and um, it's a privatization of Social Security plan. The problem with privatization was that the more the President talked about it back in 2005, the less people liked it. And th mm -hmm. there were several reasons for that. The first is that it takes money out of Social Security and puts it into private investment accounts. And of course, we've got this huge turmoil in the stock market right now. I was going to say, if you had your private investment <laughs> account in well, Bear wait, Stearns wait, wait right now. I actually, I actually looked that up because I've heard that before two years ago during the President's debate. The stock market's up 2,000 points since the last time I was told how terrible the market was doing. But but it's an well, insurance program, and I think that's one of your yes, arguments, yes, right? Yes, and let's talk about what else happens under this plan. Mm -hmm. There are huge cuts in Social Security benefits. Sometimes out in the future, uh, benefits could be reduced by as much as 50%. And then in addition, it doesn't save enough money because privatization by okay. itself does not address solvency, and so it will cost $5 trillion. Okay. Which, let's, let's take a call right now. We've got Porter from Maryland. Hi, have you got a comment? or a question about Social Security? Yes. The people that are doing your analy analyst, analysts apparently are not well read in on the subject. The number of people that take money out of the Social Security Trust Fund are not the number of people that pay into it. The first thing to do is get rid of letting people off the hook, uh, the ones with the federal, especially the federal government. The second thing is the Social Security Trust Fund is used to bankroll uh, Medicare and Medicaid. Uh, that's a okay. loss right there. And lastly, the number of people that are on the dole, the, the I won't say sick, uh, the ones that are not eligible actually, but are put on by being uh, incapacitated, let's say mentally. You mean Social Security disability? Yeah, they're, they're taking money out. They never paid anything in. So you cannot keep a program going without well, if you're, but, but if you're paying into Social Security, you're also paying into the disability fund. I want to continue. We've got another caller. Go ahead. Richard from Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, my, my question would be that if McCain supports a combination of privatization and, and voluntary personal retirement accounts, what, what would be an example of, of one of those personal accounts that, that I'd need to set up? All right, well, no, let's, I'll put that to you, Michael, and then to you, Sandy. What would be a private, what would be a private account? How would it work? 
Well, essentially what you would do is take part of the money that you are currently paying into the Social Security system. Mm -hmm. But instead of paying that in where it goes off to Washington and then uh, part of it is used to pay for whatever the federal government wants to spend it on and part of it is used to pay for grandma's Social Security, that money would instead go into a personal account that you would own. That would be your property, much like an IRA or like the Federal Thrift Savings Program that federal employees pay into. And that that would be invested in real assets like bonds, stocks, annuities and so on and at retirement part of your Social Security benefits would be based on what you've paid into the system and the return on investment that that has earned over 30 or 40 years okay Sandy last yes. question to you yes there's obviously a lot of risk involved in that up yes. to this point that has been particularly a non-starter for Democratic candidates if either Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama is elected is privatization pretty much off the table in your view I think they have both said very clearly that privatization is off the table so as far as that goes with a democratic congress then it probably would not happen of well course. and there's good reason why it shouldn't happen too which is that it cuts it, it basically replaces the social security system with um, a system of investing in yes. the stock. But the market. only alternatives are to raise taxes or cut benefits. Yeah, and or, or raise the retirement age, which is also off the table. Thank you both for uh, starting this discussion to be continued.